Hi kitty cats. So today we're going to do Mass Monday. And, excuse me. <laughs> Croissant was bothering the guinea pigs. So anyways, I have this sheet mask, papaya sheet mask. And I'm going to try it out today for Mass Monday. Right? So, let's see, I already washed my face and all that. I can't, there's directions, okay. Blah, blah. Remove mask from pouch and apply to face. Placing mask to fit eye and lip hair, okay. Remove mask after 15, 20 minutes. All right, so the usual, the usual stuff, you know. got a good amount of uh, serum so I can just pull it apart here okay there we go pulling it apart is the hardest part of all of this if you've never done a sheet mask before, it's hard to figure out sometimes. Sometimes they're super easy to pull apart and other times it's like, ah. So here we go. Yeah, we'll fix that in a minute. Okay, that's not working. <laughs> it just really wants to stick there. Together right there. And I'm not sure why. There we go. It's a little bit better. I find the lips to be the hardest area to perfect. A lot of times I have to cut right here because this part is like too thin or too thick. Like it'll be so thin that it just rolls up. Or it'll be so thick that it hangs down into my lip. But this one seems pretty good so far. Okay. Go put my glasses on over it. That's what I usually do. Mmm. <laughs> With these new glasses, it's kind of creepier. Um, anyways, or sillier. Depends on how you look at it. So, Mass Monday. Papaya. What company is this? Anyways. I'm not seeing... It just says with Icelandic glacial water. There doesn't seem to be a company on here. I apologize that I cannot find anything. It's made in Korea. It's from cnfcos.com if you're interested in finding one. Huh. They came with like um, an Ipsy. So I thought this Bianca picked out my mask today of the because I told her to pick it out of the newest stuff that I've have and this came in like an Ipsy bag either not this one but I think the last one so yeah I've got a lot of masks the past few months so I'm gonna try and blast out some mass Mondays over the next four to six weeks but yeah it's stormy here um, on and off, which is from the hurricane, Hurricane Henri, or Henry, or however you want to say it. I've heard it said both ways, so I don't know. Um, but, yeah. 
it's messing up my life here with all this rain. Last night it was a little rough, but I did get to sleep. It's just that now I'm like, eh. you know, and um, I'm supposed to get the car inspected today, and that didn't work out for different reasons. And so now John's home today because it was supposed to be car inspection day and now he's just home and that always annoys him because he hates missing out on work. So yeah. Where's that? Bianca um, had a doctor's appointment about a week or so ago I think and um, they said that her lungs were down, so that's not good. And, um, she needs to eat more, too. It was one of the things, was that she's not eating enough. Which is hard, because she can be... It's really weird, because she's not picky, but at the same time, she can be. It's like, she likes a lot of foods, but she goes through phases of what she likes. So if she's not in the mood for a food that she likes, she just doesn't, she's like, oh, I'm not in the mood for that. So she doesn't eat that. And then there's like all this food that's like in the house that she isn't eating. And I'm like, I'm not going to buy new food. And yeah, the process goes on. And then she just doesn't eat. It's... Where her partner buys her McDonald's. Um, so yeah, there's that. <laughs> there's there's stuff going on, you know, just normal life stuff. There's nothing like too horrible going on or anything. It's just normal life crap that happens that you deal with and then you move on. Like there's everybody's happy you know I'm not I may not seem happy because I'm just fatigued all the time but I did just have like a really long sleep that was really good so that that's something um and yeah made chili last night that that was good I figured chili on a rainy day, but today I'm supposed to make, that's something that I wanted to talk about. Okay, so everybody knows what HelloFresh is, right? You know, they send you food and recipes and then you make the food according to the recipe. You can pick out different recipes each week that you want, so on and so forth. Well, I've done HelloFresh a couple times and just always been like, it's just too expensive. Like the first week you do it, it's not because they give you coupons or whatever. But then after that, it's just crazy expensive. It's like over a hundred bucks a week um, for just two people. And because I always just do two people. And then, you know, certain things one of us doesn't want or whatever. My daughter usually eats her own things, so she doesn't always eat dinner with us, so it's not a big deal. So I got every plate, which is a lot like HelloFresh, but I like it a little bit better. Um, I don't know if HelloFresh has changed too. Like they might have some of these options now, I don't know. But every plate is cheaper, for one. Um, so I appreciate that. Uh, it's still not, like, hella cheap, but it's cheap enough that I'm like, okay, yeah, this is, this is doable for me. And it helps me out because I don't have to think about what I'm going to be making. It's already set up. Um, and I'm still going to have, that's only three nights a week, I'm still going to have four nights a week that I have to come up with something for everybody. But those three nights, you know, it's either me and John or me and Bianca 
or whatnot eating. Like if it's steak, it's gonna be me and Bianca because John doesn't eat steak. Um, if it's something spicy, it's probably just gonna be me. Bianca might try it. She's usually willing to try spicy, so we'll see what happens. More nowadays. Yeah, she's more into the spicy these days. So if there's something spicy, she can eat that dinner with me. Like this week, there's gonna be a steak and mushroom dinner. Oh, that's, that's so spicy. That's gonna be that's gonna be me and Bianca. Um, and the other two meals that they sent were chicken dishes. So I'm going to eat those with John. Um, and then the week after that, there's, there's, I skip every other week, depending on if there's like three weeks from now, cause you could do it three weeks ahead of time. Three weeks from now, the dishes are all way too high in sodium for me. So I'm just skipping that week. Um, but in two weeks, we're going to have one that's a spicy chicken sandwich. So I think I might try that with Bianca. And if she doesn't like it, she doesn't like it. And I'll just finish the sandwich, you know, at some point. Um, so yeah. That is uh, what we got going on. I'm very excited about this. And I'm going to let you guys know as it goes on. Like, um... If I end up liking it, I'm going to, like, show a recipe and make it and, uh, you know, on a YouTube video and talk about how great it is and give you the link. I'm not giving you the link yet because I want to be able to back it up that this is actually a good deal. And it might not be a good deal for anybody, everybody anyways, even if I say it's a good deal. I know some people who love HelloFresh. Love it. They don't mind the expense of it. It's in their budget. It's just not my budget. It's just too much. Uh, this one, it's like $35, $30, dollars a week for two people. Um, and... I find that much more something I'm much more comfortable with for three meals for two people 35 bucks that's very inexpensive um, I spend about $200 a week in groceries which a lot of people are like how do you even do that and I don't even know how I do that sometimes um, because food is becoming so much more expensive there's usually about one week where I spend 300 and uh, then the rest of the month I'll spend just 200. The reason that one week is 300 is usually that week is when I buy a lot of my proteins and um, fill up the freezer with proteins. But that doesn't always happen. Produce, I get Misfits Market, you guys know that. This time of year, there's also a free vegetable stand so that I can get some free vegetables. But I haven't been doing that as much because I haven't needed it that much. And I don't want to take away from other people. But um, I did get two quarts of blueberries a couple weeks ago from them. And I'm very happy about that. When I went down there, I was like, blueberries, yeah. Um, the free, although the free stand is there for everybody. It doesn't matter what level, you know of a financial level you're at in life they just have that there it's bulk basically food from the local farms that they don't know what to do with so they give it to the free vegetable stand and then anybody can come there and grab some free fruits and vegetables so it's kind of awesome there isn't usually fruit like that was highly unusual to see blueberries there um, I've never seen blueberries there. I've gone there for years. Never. Um, so that was highly unusual. I guess there's been a big blueberry crop, crop this year. So it's been a lot. Um, and Bianca had wanted to go blueberry picking. I'm not capable, really, of doing that stuff anymore. Um, because I can only walk short distances. And then I have to sit down. I do have a rollator now, 
Um, but I don't particularly like using it. It's not that comfortable, to be honest. And um, it makes me nervous when I'm using it. Um, John has told me many times that I should use the little scooter cart things in the grocery stores and stuff. And I don't because I feel like everybody looks at you when you use those. Which I know is true because I always look at the person that's using those. It's just kind of an automatic thing. You see somebody like in, you know, in a scooter thing or a wheelchair or anything, your eyes automatically go to it. I have thought of getting my own because I want to go to like flea markets and stuff but I can't when I can only walk short distances and then the arthritis in my legs just my knees completely give out um and the fatigue like sets in pretty quickly and it sucks it's a sucky disease Would and that part like really sucks kitten? and no the kitten's been really, really crazy lately. So, yeah, I've been trying to figure out ways to get um, one of those electric wheelchairs with a little jockey stick thing. So, I can do th things like that. And it's not that I don't want to walk. I do want to walk. But I want to be able to still get around when I can't. And, uh insurance won't cover it because it's I'm not per permanently in need of it because I could get better so they won't give me anything in the meantime to help out even though this disease is kind of an on and off disease you can get better for years but it's eventually going to be a problem again like, it doesn't go away. It's a chronic condition. So I really don't understand. But insurance is jerks. You know that. Anyways, other things to talk about. Like, makeup stuff. Um, I am... Really haven't been paying enough attention to what is new in makeup, to be honest. So, please let me know what new stuff you're into that's come out in makeup recently. Like, what are you into right now? What is your favorite product? What do you like using a lot right now? What is coming out that you want to buy? I want to hear all of that. Um, especially, like, if you know about indie products coming out. I'm very into buying indie products. Otherwise than that, I do shop at Ulta. I don't tend to shop at Sephora. Um, because most of their products are like crazy expensive. Sephora? What are you talking about? And... Yeah. So, I'll be letting you know about Everplate. We do have junk food tastings coming up. Um, we were going to film one last week for Friday and it didn't happen. So we're hoping to be able to film it this week for Friday. And I know that one of our fans, our, my, our biggest fan, my biggest fan, um, she is sending me a box of junk food goodies that we'll try in another video as well. So, there's at least two junk food stuff coming up in the near future. I'd also like to do some recipe stuff. Like I said, I will show an every plate recipe thing, but I'd like to do some of my own recipes coming up as well. Let me know what you would like to see me make. If there's a certain genre of food you want to see me make. Okay, so I'm back. There were, my uh, camera was too full of other stuff. So anyways, as I was saying, I'll be doing recipes. Just let me know what you would like to see me make that I haven't already made on this channel. Oh, the spot show. 
It's like and the spacho, but fruit. I'm gonna make caspacho tomorrow night. Oh, caspacho yeah. No. You wait for caspacho. Or I'll make it myself. Please don't, because then I won't be able to make it the next night, because there won't be enough ingredients. No, I'll make it tonight. Yeah, but I want to make a batch big enough for everybody the next night. Yeah, I'm thinking of making a big batch for everyone for tonight. Anyways. I'm still supposed to get to every plate box today. Hopefully the weather won't change anything, but when I hit the tracking button, it said that it would be here by 7 p.m. today, so we'll see. So I think it's been long enough. Take this off. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Off it comes. Oh, well, your skin peeled off. Ah! Then you just rub the serum or pat the serum in. You should get a mask. You're so crazy. And then after it's dried down, you can put on your usual moisturizers. Don't bite me, relax. Um, it's definitely hydrating. I don't know about anything else. What do you think? Okay. How does my skin look? Personally, I think most cheese masks are pretty much the same, except some of them are like have way too much serum in them. And I don't like those because they drip into my eyes and stuff, and I'm like, there's no reason for that. Um, or they're too dry, and there's like no serum in them. Or they're too scented, so that the scent is overpowering. And and I like scent, but sometimes it's like. This is like way too overpowering or I don't like the scent. There was really no scent to this. Um, it didn't smell like papaya or anything. I believe it has papaya extract in it, which can be good for the skin. So let's see. Most fruit extracts are good for your skin. You know, they got vitamin C and stuff in them. So how do you like my new instead of my mermaid one my mermaid one the straw on it got mold in it and even with the little brushy thing i couldn't i couldn't like get it all out and um even after put i used the brushy thing on it and then i put it through the dishwasher like i dried everything and it was like the mold had almost become embedded into the silicone and it was really weird. And um, I was just like, yeah. And you say, get a new straw for it. Well, I tried looking for straws for it and it was so big that I couldn't find any straws for it. So that was disappointing. But I did get a new, this is smaller. My other one was 36 ounces. Um, and this is like only 30. So, it is smaller. But I deal, right? I deal. So, and I got it through, um, I got this one through Amazon. My other one I had gotten from Walmart. This one I got on Amazon. But it's the same company that I got it from. What's it called? The Bubba Company. But, and you like my water and this is also like insulated and can be used for you know whatever I like coffee whatnot because I do like iced, um, iced coffee on occasion I'm not really that much of a coffee person though uh, I do like pumpkin spice coffee though and that is coming out 
So once in a while I like to get like an iced pumpkin macchiato. But most of the time I uh, prefer my iced matcha lattes or the uh, refreshers that they have at Dunkin' Donuts are pretty good. Or just iced tea at home or iced lemonade. I do like hot tea as well. Uh, and hot cocoa. I'm known for drinking quite a bit of hot cocoa. Um, I also use the hot cocoa as a way to get my uh, medicine in sometimes. Special medicine that's legal here in Vermont. So, that happens sometimes. If you're going, what the heck is that? No, I'm not doing anything illegal. Um, but there are some things that are legal in Vermont that aren't legal in other states. So, so there's that. Um, okay, here comes here comes a calmer croissant. That was a lie, I guess. He was calm earlier. He just bumped into my head, my nose. Croissant's been a real D-I-C-K lately. Yeah, he's been not wanting to be picked up by anybody lately. He's going for a phase. It's okay, he's growing up. Doesn't mean it doesn't hurt though. And yeah, he, he, he went to grab Claws yeah, and in, he got his claw stuck. And does it retract her nose. properly? So he pulls instead, which tugs on the skin. Yeah, and makes it she, hurt more. She was bleeding. And my nose has been suffering oh, okay, acne, so, so make, it's really sensitive to like scratches. Keep scratching. him away from your face. It's okay. I threatened him with water. Anyways, would you say threaten him with water? It means a water sprayer. So I know some people are against that uh, way of teaching cats, but um, that's we use it and we find it works very well. So um, it's obviously not that traumatizing if they still drink water afterwards. And they still come and cuddle with us, and we, you know, we don't do anything violent to our cats. Spraying them with water is not hurtful. We're just telling them, <laughs> no, don't do that Anyways. right there. So, yeah, see, so mask is all, all dried down now. That yeah, you have to peel off your other mask. No, there's no other mask. Then we know you're hiding something. <sighs> okay. So, that's what kind of day it's going to be for me, I guess. I hope you guys are having a good day and be safe from the hurricane and from uh, Delta and COVID Delta. and all that stuff. Okay. Bye-bye, kitty cats.